Hello everyone and welcome to Family Frog Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to use this app to also use with the Cricut machine. I literally just did a print cut using an image I got from this app and it turned out really really amazing. I'm so thrilled with it. I'm so happy. So we're going to go ahead and get started and with this app I'll have the link below so you can turn and go ahead and purchase it. It's really not that expensive. It's actually really cool because as you can see you can make your own little little landscape here. You can, you know, add things to the ones that they create automatically, or you can start from scratch and make your own. This app is like so much fun. I actually enjoy it. I end up spending like possibly a few hours alone straight, not realizing that, realizing it, and just kind of having fun with it. So a few little keys I'm gonna kind of show you is of course your home button, and your home just kind of brings up like the quit. You can start a new one. You can load up ones that you save. You can save your images. You know whatever you want to do. Little like a little music kind of dial up here. Little whatever you want to call it <laughs> is your camera. I don't mess with it. And then the little question mark is your keyboard. It brings up the keyboard image. This is the number key thing you need to be able to navigate around this. So this will be your best, best friend. And then of course this has your little welcome, you know, welcome to Flowscape. And it'll ask you if you want to stay here, which is what the image is right here that I'm playing around, you know, that I'll probably maybe be playing around with here in a few minutes. You can clear the plants, which will clear everything out to where you have a blank scape, or you can try a new seed. So I kind of want to, actually I kind of want to see what this little landscape here will bring me. And of course, you will need your mouse. So, how, and of course, as you can see, I'm turning on it now. I'm using, I'm right clicking on my mouse and everything. And then, of course, I'm using my arrows. It's actually kind of cool. I like this one. And then, of course, as you can see, I'm kind of backing up. I'm kind of scrolling up. And then I'm using the Q to go down. And then I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit. And then as you can kind of see, I'm going to kind of creep into here. I think, like I said, this freaking app is like amazing. I love it. I actually really love this image. Oh my god, this image is like so gorgeous. So, as you can guys see, I was kind of playing around a little bit. I was using my arrows, I was using the Q button. And it does take some practice to kind of get used to. I really do love this image. Um, and of course, like I said, the cute the little question mark up here is your buddy, is your friend. Again, play around with it more and more and more. Um, I kind of want to change my sky. So, again, I will come over here in my little sky button and just, oop, I unclicked it. And just kind of play around with it. This changes the sky. So you can have less, you can have more clouds, you can have sunsets, sunrises, the night sky, which I think is really freaking cool. It's like really amazing. You know, kind of like storming clouds coming in. Oh, that's kind of pretty. You know, getting night, getting sunset, sunrise. Oh, that's even pretty too. Oh, that's nice. You know, darkness. You know, like that one. And then, of course, the night sky. Which is really, really cool. Let's see. Which one do I like the most? I kind of like the reflection and the water. Hmm. Kind of like that. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many options. I don't know which one to choose. I think I kind of sit with that one. And then I'll come over to my little dial, and I'm going to kind of play around with the shadows, but I do kind of like it. So the abundant light changes. Oh, there we go. So as you can see, it kind of changes the actual land itself, like the brightness. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit. And the sky rotation rotates, of course, as it says, rotates the sky. And that's exactly what it does. It rotates the sky. Oh, that hummingbird was so cool. I been... wish I got the picture of that one. So again, just some stuff you're going to have to kind of play around with and everything like that. I actually want to stay here. So what I want to kind of do, if I want to come back to this, I'm just going to go to my home. I'm going to save it. As you can see, I have some other things already saved. 
I'm gonna select. Oh, oh okay, I guess I'm saving it. I'm saving it. I'm gonna hit the button. So you just kind of pick a slot, and there you go. So again, I love how this image is. It looks really cool. Let me see if I can back it up just a bit. So I'm making it look funny. Okay, I actually like that. It looks really, really cool. Alright, so when you found the image that you like, and of course as you see, you know, little birds and butterflies and hummingbirds, you know, kind of flying around. But when you get to the image that you really like, alright, oh, it looks like it changed colors. What the heck? Maybe just me. Alright, so again, something you can kind of play with, but once you kind of get the image that you want, you are going to come down here to the little camera and click it. And it automatically will save for you in the flow, sh uh, flow, flow scape folder, which I will show you here in a few minutes. I kind of want some birds or something in it. See if I can get something. Mm, I like the hummingbird over there, but he comes a little closer. Come on, buddy. Come closer. Oh, go away. Okay. And again, if I wanted to, I could add some more. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and add some more. Add the hummingbirds. So, as you see, I have the little blue, um, little blue circle. You scroll up, it makes it bigger. Scroll down, it makes it tiny. Oh, look, there's yeah, a little, little hummingbird coming around. Or the bird. Might have been a bird. That was a hummingbird. Oh, and some more butterflies. Oh, look, there's a butterfly. Oh, look, it's a, it's a born butterfly. How pretty. I'm going to wait for that butterfly to hopefully come back so I can kind of get an image with it a little bit closer. Oh, perfect. And take picture. And take the picture. Awesome! See if I can get another one. I really does like where that butterfly actually landed. It was really, really cool. So again, like I said, you can have so much fun with this. I like literally enjoy it. Uh, are you gonna go? No? no? Okay. Alright, well I think I'm kind of stuck with that one. So when you're done, after you take the images, image images that you want, just go to quit. And hit yes. Alright, once you have the image picture that you want, you're gonna want to go to your Flowscape folder and then go to your image. I know I said I was gonna do a print to cut and I actually kind of was playing around with it and I did not like how it kind of came out. You can still do a print to cut if you really want to. I can easily turn and do a video of it. It's not really that hard. I just kind of want it bigger than the print to cut was gonna give me. So, when you do go to, once you do have your image and everything, you're going to want to go to Flowscape, go to your Flowscape folder, and then you're going to go to your image that you're wanting, and then double click that. As you can see, it pops up. So, once you have your image, which is this right here, you're going to want to go to your print button, which is on the top, I mean, depending on your computer and whatnot, and then you're going to, depending on which kind of transfer paper that you have in the brand. I have the new fun activities one that my husband got me um, and I have to watch the settings for it because if I don't it's not going to turn out correctly like how I would want. So you're going to want to go to the paper type and for me mine says I have to go to do the photo paper plus glossy which it really doesn't have just the glossy so I have to do the number two glossy one and then I want to do the shrink to fit. And then you just go and print your image that you want. So I really hope this tutorial helps. Please like, subscribe, comment below. And again, if you want me to turn and go ahead and do a print to cut with the um, Cricut Design Space, I would be more than happy to. Just in comments below, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.